What up boys and welcome back to another video in the How Good Is It series. So in today's video we're actually not going to be mining like we have for the last videos. We're going to be fishing and it was suggested by a lot of you guys and the crooner is one of them who suggested it. He wanted to see something nostalgic so I decided to give it a go. It's something I've done in the past but I think it's uh, it's cool to do something you don't do that often, you know? And as long as you have somehow control of the market, you can actually make a lot of gold because you can control the price by yourself. So the location, I do this in Northern Barrens. It's the only place you can obtain them. You can get them either in these pools that I'm showing you guys or in the caverns themselves. So I choose to go by the pools. The cool thing about the pools, you can just fly between the three of them and there's always gonna be schools up. As long as you do this by yourself, there's always gonna be schools up. If you, however, have some competition, don't just stand around and wait for people, uh, well, the schools to spawn. You gotta be killing some mobs around because they have a small chance of dropping the recipe that you're gonna need to make even more gold from this farm. So you can't fish this in open waters, you gotta fish the schools. And uh, after a one hour session, you guys can see I use a stopwatch. After a one hour session, I managed to get myself 171 fish, well, 172 because I cooked one, and I got myself a pirate costume. This fish that you're gonna cook. You need to get this recipe. It's not a must to have the recipe, but one of these fish has a market value on EU for 49 golds, while a cooked one has 56 gold value. So it's definitely worth getting the recipe if you decide to do this for quite some time. And it's really, really simple. The pattern or recipe is not really that expensive, so I would recommend you to uh, invest in it. Not only because you get like seven gold more on average per fish, but it's a lot easier to sell it if you cook it into the savory light fish so definitely go ahead and do it when it comes to gold per hour uh, I got 172 that's gonna be like 9,000 golds but uh, in reality you can actually make more gold because you're gonna sell it you should sell it in bigger stacks personally I sell it in stacks of 20 and I usually sell a stack of 20 for like 1500 to 2000 gold if there's some up on my auction house I just buy it out and I post fish for like 1500 to 2000 gold per stack of 20 and people don't really care if they got to spend 2000 gold on 20 fish they last for one hour so 2000 gold for 20 hours of transmog like it's it's not really bad people don't mind 2000 gold is nothing for people these days so yeah if i if i actually get to sell it for 2000 gold each 20 i'm gonna make like uh, 16 000 gold so it's not bad at all and I'm really surprised of how well it has been with the uh, How Good Is It series because every single material that I've farmed, I've sold. And the Ghost Iron Ore, I actually sold for like 4.6k gold a stack. So I made a killing farming Ghost Iron Ore. And um, that is basically it for this video. So thank you so much again for the suggestions of what farms I should make. Keep them coming, just spam the comment section with what you want me to farm next. And uh, if you guys haven't already, you could always subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs down. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.